The first Blender beginner mistake is to use the wrong type of animation, meaning that you have the wrong type of keyframe interpolation. Sometimes it just looks a lot better if you have a linear keyframe interpolation than the Bezier type, for example. So let's do an example. And for a camera move like this, you often want it to be linear, especially if you switch between different cameras that are all moving. It's going to look a bit strange if all of them are set to the Bezier type. But there are of course many instances where the Bezier type looks natural, so just choose the right one for your animation. Next is to add bad lighting. It is actually very simple to add some good lighting to a scene. The default lighting is just a simple point light, but you can very easily improve this by turning it into a sun, for example, and then pressing R twice to rotate the sun freely. You also have the option to add a background image, which can add a lot of color to the lighting. And you can find a bunch of these free background images on Polyhaven for free, with no login at all, so it's very simple. And then you just choose the download. And then select the background image. And also make sure to hide the background image. So uh, go to the render settings. And then under film, we can make the background transparent while we keep the background lighting. In my opinion, not using cycles is also a beginner mistake. You can get a lot better results with cycles. EV is of course a lot faster, so if the results are not that different, you can of course use EV, but in many cases, the results are going to look drastically better by using cycles because of the more complex shading. And if you need to do some heavy renders, you can also use the free render farm, ship it, which allows you to share computers with others and use other people's computers when you have a heavy render, which can make your cycles renders render a lot faster. I also recommend saving multiple files when you're working on a project, in case you did a huge mistake a few saves ago that just permanently ruined your project. You can then go back to the file that you created before you did that mistake, and then just continue from there instead of starting from scratch. When I save, I just press Ctrl Shift S and I click on the plus sign and then save. The last point is not knowing the basics of art theory, like how you use colors, composition and anatomy if you're making characters. There are a bunch of resources for free online, so just uh, search for it on YouTube and you will find a lot of good videos.